Good morning and a quick update on the market situation regarding COVID outbreak and lockdowns in Shanghai. We have news that Shanghai's COVID-19 cases resume setting daily records. So yesterday I did a video about what I have posted in the Patreon community that the Shanghai cases were actually going down slightly minus 10% and now we can see that they are going up slightly again. So here you see the latest update on the COVID chart and of course there is still an increase and while this is an increase it's only a slight 1% increase and so this is not really exponential growth so there are reasons to believe that um, although once again I'm not a big promoter of zero COVID policy but that it kind of works right now of containing the um, COVID cases rising and that the cases are currently peaking out. Let's hope that this is correct despite those uh, media headlines that are suggesting you know new records are coming in. Additionally if you look at this chart and this is the congestion delay index for Shanghai is now going up again which is due to the fact that um, the policies are a little bit loosening so we have heard about um, various ministries and regulators and responsible persons um, trying to work out something to get the logistics up and going again and so we see if we're watching the uh, traffic jams and uh, the road blockings in China for example with Baidu maps um, that there has been some improvement there and it seems that there are more and more people also moving a little bit around. So the first signs of an easing happening there. However, also I need to mention that um, Xi Jinping just uh, went on a talk in, I think that was in Hainan and he mentioned that, um, that China will keep on to this zero COVID policy, the dynamic one, which how they are calling that. So basically staying flexible, it seems. Other cities like Guangzhou and Shenzhen, they are at the brink of a lockdown and maybe um, Suzhou and uh, close by to Shanghai as well as Hangzhou, they might uh, have some issues around coping and preventing that they don't fall into a lockdown similar to Shanghai. So this situation is far from over. However, it seems hopefully that by the end of this week, we may have some positive surprises here uh, out of China. And to cope with the situation, we have now official news by China state media quoting China's cabinet that they will take measures to boost the consumption. One of them is um, to use policy tools. So that means the reserve requirement ratios for banks will be lowered so they don't have to hold as much uh, in equity or in, in assets, in cash. Uh, and that will help pump liquidity into the market. So these are some of the first yeah, measures that we're seeing here may be more to be expected in areas like um, yeah, industries that have been hit hard, particularly maybe even in some new subsidies or other uh, consumption steering um, yeah, measures that we might see in the future announced. Anyways, that's it for today. Hope we'll see um, a good reaction in the market and then thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.